Google's Notebook LM just dropped four brand new features that are going to blow your mind. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to use these features, what they are, and I'm going to share with you a bunch of real use cases that you could start to use these for today. Change number one is that Notebook LM just released a bunch of new reports. So in the past, when you would click on report right here, basically the only thing that you were able to create was a briefing document, but now they've launched a ton of new things. For example, you can create your own report that allows you to specify the structure, the style, the tone, and more. You could create a briefing document, which is a preset. You can create a study guide, which is a preset. This is going to contain short answer quiz, suggested essay questions, and a gloss or key terms, you can use a blog post right here, or they also have other suggested formats based on how you actually use Notebook LM and what sources you actually have added in here. So for example, I have in this project right here, a bunch of different sources around model context protocol, aka MCP. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on report, and then we're going to click on blog post right here. And then this will actually go through and this will create a blog post for for me based on these 21 sources. Now, if you wanted to change what sources are actually being used before you actually create the report, you could just come over here and uncheck things, and then they won't actually be used as sources in whatever you're gonna be doing over here. In addition to that, if we click on reports again, and we click on this little pencil, you could see right here that you can change how the report should actually be created. In addition to that, they have over 80 different languages that you can generate these in. Now, if we come over here and to describe the report that you want to create, we could see basically what the system prompt is here. Act as a thoughtful writer and synthesizer of ideas, tasked with creating an engaging and readable blog post for a popular online publishing platform known for its clean aesthetic, this, that, the other. Now, one thing that I would note here is that this doesn't have anything related to SEO. So guess what you could do? You could come in here, you can change the system prompt, and this makes your life way easier. You could have this generate blog posts for every YouTube video that you make, or generate blog posts from a bunch of things that you found online. And this right here is going to help be able to automate so many different things in terms of blog posts. If you're a teacher or in academia, you can make a study guide. If you're doing something for work, you can do a briefing document. If you have a bunch of different meeting notes and the different PowerPoints and all that. In addition to that, the fact that this can now do strategic analysis, do an implementation guide, concept explainer or narrative scenario is pretty cool. In fact, I'm going to be using this feature all the time, especially for these implementation guides. For example, let's say that I did something about how to do a certain AI automation. I could upload the source in here, click this. It will then create the implementation guide. That makes my life really easy. Now, as we can see right here, this is still generating this report. So let's actually let this finish and then I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay. So now that this is actually done. We can see right here, it made this from 21 sources finished two minutes ago. We could click into this. We could rename it or delete it if we wanted to from here. We could see clearly that it's a blog post. And if we click on this, we could see exactly what this blog post looks like right here. And again, we would just have to change in the system prompt how you want this formatted and things along the lines of that. But overall, this is pretty cool. And then we can copy and paste this. We could copy it with the formatting and we could then use this as a blog post or for whatever we wanted to do. Now, in addition to that, they also launch this flashcard feature right here which is pretty cool. If you click on this now, what you're going to notice is that you can actually generate flashcards. Now, if we click right here, you could see that you could change how many flashcards it actually creates. You could do fewer, you could do standard, or you could do more. In addition to that, you could change the level of difficulty. So let's say that you were self-studying for something, or you're trying to study for school or something like that. You could start off with easy, once you get all those right, you could change this to difficult. Once you get all those right, you could change this to hard. And then once you get all those right, you should be pretty good with whatever you're trying to learn. In addition to that, you could come over here and you could change the formats of it. For example, you can change how many words show up on each side. You could have it focus on specific topics, or you could have it be restricted to a specific source that you actually want to be able to specify right here. Now, these are what these flashcards are actually going to look like. If you click right here, we're going to see that animated flashcards are then going to show up. And if we click over here, we could expand this viewer to actually see what it looks like. So we can see right here, this literally went through and made 92 flashcards, which is insane. I didn't think that it was actually going to create that many, but that's pretty awesome that that's created this. And again, if we click on this and we don't understand it, we could click on explain. Then we have this customized learning experience here where this is going to go through 
and explain to us exactly why we got it wrong or why it's the right answer. And the best part about it is it actually gives you the sources right here. So you can always go back into the source to make sure that it's correct or to kind of get more background knowledge. And again, you could ask us any questions to follow up from whatever it tells you here. In addition to that, you could save this as a note if you wanted to. So you could basically save all the things that you get wrong or all the things that you don't understand. And then you could have it build another round of flashcards based only off of those. Now, before we get into the rest of those use cases that are only gonna keep getting crazier and crazier, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. Now, the next new feature that I wanted to highlight is if we come back over into Studio, we can also generate quizzes from right here. And again, we could see that we could choose to have the number of questions be fewer, standard, or more. And we could change the level of difficulty here to be easy, medium, or hard. So I'm gonna change this to be really hard. I'm gonna put fewer. I'm gonna click on generate right here. And then let's see what this actually goes through and generates. And again, this is really good if you're trying to self-study for something, if you're trying to study for school, if you're an academic, or maybe, you're just trying to quiz your team. For example, I'm trying to get my team to be better with MCP, which is why I created this. And if we come over here, you can see that you can actually share with them everything. So you can give them full access to the notebook or to the chat only. And then in addition to that, you can actually create a welcome note here. So I could send something like this to my team and say, hey, I really like what's in here. You guys need to make sure that you're studying this. You guys need to make sure that you're up to date on this stuff because I need you to pass these quizzes. And then you can see right here that we can actually generate these quizzes. Now, while this goes through and actually generates this, I wanted to remind you that now, if you come into audio overview, because you might not have seen this before, you are going to be able to customize way more things than ever before. In fact, this change came out literally just a few days ago, so you might not have seen this. But now when you come over into here, you could change with four different formats. You can create a deep dive right here, which is going to be a lively conversation between two hosts, unpacking and connecting topics in your source. You could do a brief, which is what the standard used to be. You could do a critique. So this is an expert review of your sources offering constructive feedback to help you improve your material, or you could do a debate that's a thoughtful debate between two hosts illuminating different perspectives on your sources. Now, the way that I like to think about this is essentially you are generating a podcast here. Now, instead of just going over to Spotify and trying to find podcasts, you can create your own because I'm sure if you're into super niche things, there just aren't podcasts about what you're actually interested in, or maybe you wish that they would take a different take. For example, I would prefer that if I was listening to a podcast, it was something like the All In podcast where they have four different hosts, all from different backgrounds that disagree with each other. So I really like this debate feature right here. And again, I always change this to be default, which is going to be on the longer end. And as you can see here, if you actually switch through these, it will change how long you can make things and whether or not you are actually able to even change these things. But you can also right here, get them to focus on a specific source, a specific topic, or targeting a specific audience if you're going to be creating this for somebody else. Now, this quiz is actually done. So I wanted to pull this up over here. Again, if we pull this up, we can come into full view over here and actually expand what the viewer looks like. And we could see that this went through and this made us a quiz. So I'm just going to speed run through this and it tells us what the right answer is, whether or not we got it wrong, and it tells us why it was right or wrong. Again, we can run through here. I got that one right. Again, I'm just randomly guessing here. So don't think that I'm not doing this correctly. Boom, done. And then what this is going to do is this is going to give us a score. It's going to give us an accuracy. How many were right? How many were wrong? How many were skipped? We could then review the quiz or we could retake that quiz to see if we actually got better at answering the things that we didn't understand. Now, what makes this incredibly powerful right here is when you begin to use all these different features that Notebook LM is going to be offering you. Because again, you can create podcasts right here. You can create videos. You can create mind maps. You can create so many different types of reports. You can create flashcards. You can create quizzes, which makes Notebook LM the ultimate tool, whether you're trying to learn something from yourself, you're trying to teach something to somebody else, or you're just trying to take information like a bunch of different sources here and then turn it into a bunch of other pieces 
pieces of content. I think that this is one of the most powerful AI tools that exists. One of the craziest parts about it is it's free. It can help you automate your work and it helps you distill information down in so many different formats. So you can literally help anybody understand anything, which is an incredibly powerful thing. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I'd strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you a brand new AI tool that allows you to build apps and websites that you could begin monetizing instantly. Check this out here.